everybody, welcome to Excel video 337. I was talking to a group the other day that said, hey, you know what, we're a small practice. We don't even know the right questions to ask, let alone the answers, what we ought to expect. Can you help us? And I said, yeah, let's get access to your data. Let's run some pivot tables, get some reports, and get a handle on what's going on in your practice. When you're ready to do the same for your group, I'd love to help you. I want to do one more video today talking about Solver using the same example here. And let's say we really like this example, but we want to tweak it. We might want two or three of these solver scenarios, if you will. I'm a little hesitant to use the word scenario because we're going to do a different kind of scenario starting in the next Excel video. But let me show you what I mean. Let's say we like this thing and we want to, you know, what if our cost of equipment goes up, but so does the average reimbursement per patient, or we can treat a different number of patients. Can we save multiple versions of what we've done here? And the answer is sure. What we're going to do is go to solver, and then we're back to the setting the value to six. We're not trying to min or max or anything like that with our basic scenario here. What I'm going to do is I am going to save this thing. And you can load and save from the same screen to save. What we need to do, it says select an empty range with the following number of cells. I need seven cells to do its thing. I said fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come to column I. We'll go get seven cells and save. And now what I want to do is let's say what happens if, let me slide this over just a touch. Remember cell B4, our first constraint is, hey, we're only going to get 120 per patient. What if that changes? What if even more remarkably it goes up to 150? It's going to be less than or equal to 150. And what if the cost of the equipment, now nah, the manufacturer knows the reimbursement is going up, so you can guess what happens to the price, right? It goes up to 38000 And let's say we've got a new procedure room or a new exam room, more staff in our clinic. Now we can treat a, an additional, say, this is say we're up to 65. So if we change our constraints now to 38000 150 and 65, remember last time it was 35000 120, and this number could go up to 60. What we're going to do is solve... And then it found a solution. So here's the solution to pay for the $38,000 equipment. Here's how we're going to make it work. And then I'm going to go back to the Solve Parameters dialog. Click OK. And I'm going to save this in, let's say, column K. So let's save that there and close. So this is, what we'll do is we'll label them. Old, new. Now what I can do when I come back over here is I can go to Solver and I have the new one. What I can do is I can load and to load, just tell me the range where the model is. Well, oops, I don't want to, I don't want to include old. I just want that. That's where my model is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load that. And it says, do you want to replace or merge? And I said, no, I just replace. I don't need six constraints and conflicting constraints. Now I'm back to the 120, the 60, and the 35,000 I started with. I can solve that, baby. And there's the 35. If I load my new scenario there and load it, we'll replace and solve. And I'm to my new scenario. That's how to do multiple. You could do 10 or 12 of these or however many you wanted. If you're going to do it, all you've got to do is put room out here for Excel to keep track of them. And then looking at this, it's very hard to tell which scenario is which. So I just label on the top, this is old or this is new, or this is the $35,000 scenario, that's the $38,000 scenario. There's a bunch of ways to use that solver to help you. That's what I wanted to tell you about solver. Stay tuned next time. We'll go back to the what-if analysis. We've done goal seek. We're going to work our way back up the list and do scenario manager next. Look forward to seeing you then.